Huh, people, you know how it is when I'm making my coffee, okay? This is my second cup, and I'm in my head. I'm talking with the Father, and I'm just, I'm getting these instant downloads, you know? Like, you know, bro, I was just in my head communing with the Most High, you know, asking for deliverance, okay? About it is captivity of the worst of the heathen. Okay, how the great spirit allowed for them to come over here and get up above us very high. Those who set themselves up in authority over us literally took control of all of our resources, poisoned it, then selling it back to us. Allowed all of these heathen nations, all of these confederate nations get to make a covenant with the worst of the heathen to oppress us in our own neighborhoods. The neighborhoods that they set up and placed us in. How they redlined. How these heathens are able to set up their businesses and sell us poison. Bro, I am so sick and tired of this captivity. (sighs) <sighs> so anyway, I was in my head communing with the Father, and I was like, you know, we ain't got no might in our hands other than spiritually, you know? He gave us the Spirit. So now, that's what's contending with these devils, okay? And I call them devils, bro, because look around at the state of the world. Look around at all humanity and all creation. And then look me in the face and tell me that this world ain't ran by devils. I will call you a liar to your face. Okay? So clearly these people are freaking devils. How are you going to steal our land, steal all of our resources, poison it, and then sell it to us? Oh, my God. And then portray us to the world as nothing. Portray us to the world as nothing but slaves. How we were forced to live in poverty systematically but people want to continue to ignore this as if we're just complaining literally as if we're just playing a race card we never created race the Europeans created race because they were foreigners on indigenous land And they had to give themselves status. So that's why they created race. Not only that, they didn't want the poor Europeans and the indigenous seed joining together against them. So they decided to bring the Europeans up above us. That's why they created race after Bacon's Rebellion. So now, biblical prophecy has played out that the stranger that is within thee will get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. Uh, well, that's exactly what happened. We had all of our land, all of our resources, every single thing, including who we were, stripped from us. Okay? And then give it to other nations. And then we're declared as nothing. We are the scorn of the nations. Don't no other nation fit the curses that was upon Israel, the seed of Israel. You know why America ain't in the Bible? Because America is the true biblical land. And the Bible was compiled by the worst of the heathen. So, of course, they're not going to include that. But we're at the end. 
So no matter what the hell you want to believe, it don't matter. It's irrelevant. Your time is up. Okay? All of this time you have forced the seed of this land to live in poverty. Well, you got to live lavishly. And then the counterfeit nation that's pretending to be us, they have got the sympathy of the world. Yet they rule the world. You got no compassion, nor empathy, nor mercy in your heart towards the proverbial Negro, black American. You know damn well we are scorned of the nations. Therefore, we're the ones that fit the prophecies. We have the spirit that's been returned to us. So we are the children of light that's been risen. We are the living witnesses. Therefore, that signals that your time is up. We are tired. I had to live 47 years of my life in this physical ass world being evilly treated by those who set themselves up in authority over me. Stripping me of my free agency to be a free spirit. Trying to chain me down to a physical body. Making my whole life about my physicality, this physical reality. Like there ain't nothing outside of this physical reality. Demonizing me, stigmatizing me, wanting to call me lazy because I didn't have ambition to gain money and materialistic things. That was not my passion. That was not what I was after. I just wanted my freedom. Trying to keep clean. Trying not to use profanity. So I catch myself sometimes. But I want my damn freedom. Okay? I am tired of this economic fucking slavery. Sorry. Okay, I had to say it the way it is in my heart. <sighs> this is some bullshit. They stole this damn land. The people who are writing the laws and the legislations stole the damn land from the indigenous sea. We are the descendants of that sea. Their time is up and oppressing us. They tell the truth in the movies, mocking us. Cinderella is about us. The shoe fits us. We're Cinderella that was being evilly treated. Being forced to serve and slay for a living. That'd be us. And we're at the time where that carriage is showing up. Where the shoe fits perfectly. You seen the movie Cinderella? That'd be us. Now, I ain't staying on here, bro. I'm already, I'm already about to stream the testimony, okay? But I had to get this out, bro. I, like I said, I was in my head, and I'm like, bro, they want to gaslight us. 
You know, first you strip us of everything we are, all of our resources and all of these things, and you lie to the whole damn world about who we are. You give our heritage to all of these different nations. We become the scorn of all the nations, the ridicule and all of these things. And you want to turn around and gaslight us and say that we're, we're speaking hate speech because we've uncovered all of these things by way of the spirit. This ain't hate speech. What you did to us is hateful. How would you like for somebody to just come steal your freaking land? Steal your identity. Steal everything that you are. Rape, rob, and murder your whole damn family. This is what happened to us. And it's like, it's like it goes right over people's freaking head. Like, like it's too fanciful, you know, to realize that colonization is not righteous. What is wrong with people, bro? How the hell can you think that coming over to a land that's unknown to you, but there's people residing on that land, and you literally just evilly entreat them. You just begin raping, robbing, and murdering them. Literally steal their damn land, bro. And put them on the bottom of your system that you built on their land. This is what happened to us. And then you want to gaslight us and call us lazy. <sighs> bro, I'm tired, okay? I am tired. You stole all of our shit, bro. You stole everything that we had. You stole everything that we were. <sighs> you lied about everything. And now, it's all being uncovered. You can no longer gaslight us and claim that we're preaching hate. No, we're preaching divine love. I come in divine love. And real divine love is compassionate. Real divine love is merciful. Real divine love will restore a people that's been mistreated for centuries. That's real love. You people that want to call this hate speech, you are of the adversary. Okay? Because you're basically saying we don't matter. We do not matter to you. That ain't love, bruh. No matter how you try to swing it, okay? No matter how you try to swing it, your gaslighting doesn't work any longer, okay? You want to call it complaining. You, you want to call it uh, playing a race card and all of these things. Bro, we didn't already slaughter all your gaslighting, okay? All of your manipulation, all of your deceit, okay, it's all been uncovered. So now, Europeans are in a valley of decision. Not only the Europeans, but all nations that have been confederate with the Gentiles during the tail end of the times of the Gentiles. Because that's what we've been living. The tail end of their time. And now their time is up. Again, what signals the end of their time is the oracles returning to us. Us having a spiritual authority. That spiritual authority has been given back to the seed of this land. And a dove has also returned to this land. This is the land of the dove. And if you want to stay on this land, it's time to humble yourself like a child. Unlearn the wisdom of this world. Relearn via the spirit of truth. Join yourself to his vine. 
If you have abundance and you were allowed to reap the blessing off of the seed of this land, it will be wise for you to become a righteous elm. Otherwise, if you literally hold on to that blessing and you do not do righteously by it, you're going to perish. I'm just going to put it like that because your time's up. But you do have a choice. Yes, you have a choice. You can join yourself to the vine, becoming an elm, utilizing the blessings for righteousness sake, or trust in your blessing. Ignore these messages. Trust in all your materialistic things. Trust in your underground bunkers and all them things, okay? That's your God. You trusting in the material, all right? Your God is going to be shown to be a false God. That ain't going to save you. But my power, you're going to see my power. And ain't nothing that you can do to stop my power. And you're about to see it very soon. Now, on that note, man, I'm done, bro. I got to finish getting my coffee and get in there and stream this freaking live. But at least I wasn't sitting down, you know, with the swelling and all of that. Because I'm dealing with swelling, bro. The last several days, I've woke up with swelling, okay, in my legs. And it sucks, okay? <laughs> Therefore, I cannot sit at my desk for a long period of time. Um... And but I'm not comfortable, you know, laying in the bed either. Okay, it's an uncomfortable ass bed. You know, I've been living an uncomfortable ass life my entire freaking life. Very rarely have I ever been comfortable in this life. I keep it real, bro. I keep it real, okay? There's been people upon this earth, upon this land. All these other nations that's been able to live in comfort and luxury their entire life. Well, I've literally lived a life of poverty. Okay? Now, I understand the reason why. Alright, I got many videos breaking down the reason why this was even allowed by the Great Spirit. Why was the dog taken away from this land? Why was the protection lifted off of this land, the fourth part of the earth? I got many videos breaking that down. Sure, it was our own fault. Now, I ain't gonna, man, I'm not trying to stay on here, okay? Um, I'm trying to wrap this up for real. Oh, it's just be, it'd be, it'd be so much on my spirit, bro. It'd be so much on me, okay? But I'm still living in poverty, okay? I am sick and tired, bruh. All my life I'm made to feel like I'm worth nothing, all because I don't care about money. I don't care about money. I still don't care about money. All I care about is my freedom and my happiness. I don't need money for that, other than in this wicked ass system that was set up by force with much bloodshed. So if you have any amount of compassion and mercy in your heart, then you will sow out of your abundance of what you have of this system in order to alleviate my suffering. That's righteousness. But no, it's easier for you to lump me in a category of a charlatan that's been misleading you this whole damn time. You refuse to look at the fruits of the Spirit because if you look at the fruits of the Spirit, then you would know who I am. Instead, you rather project your false reality 
so that you can hold on to all of your abundance, your money, your materialistic things. Well, guess what? Your heart is being shown to the great spirit. No matter how you try to twist it, you are in a valley of decision, okay? Your opinion, your perception, all of that, it does not matter because your perception is based upon this physical reality and that's all, okay? You refuse to look beyond the physical. Therefore, you have a limited perception, so your perception does not matter, okay? Because there is an outside reality that you refuse to see. So just because you don't want to think about the spirituality doesn't mean the spirituality ain't about to intervene, okay? Oh yes, the spirit has already intervened. That's why we're here. Shalom.